I went to high school with Steve Jobs, Homestead High, class of 72. I had a few classes with Steve. I wasn't a close friend, but I l liked him because we had something in common and we were both searching our spirituality. And tr we talk about how to find nirvana. And I thought that made him interesting, but I think most people thought he was a bit weird, a bit different. I think even in high school he had certain qualities that helped him. He was uh, into new ideas, um, very uh, passionate about what he believed in, and very confident, self-confident. But it really was, and he says this, his passion is more than 50% of the success in anything. And he was passionate to the point of being obsessive. His entire life revolved around Apple. But most of the people I went to high school with came from well-off families, and mine were okay, but they, were, they didn't spend money on a anything. And so uh, I had to leave home, and at age of 19, uh, I had no self-confidence, no self-esteem, but I ran away from home and joined the Navy because I knew at least I'd get fed for two years and have a place to live. And maybe it was there that I realized I wanted to, I didn't want to live like that. It's almost like being in prison. I was on an aircraft carrier with 5,000 men for two years. And that gave me motivation that I didn't have before to do something with my life. And I think a lot of entrepreneurs often come from environments where they have a chip on their shoulder, they've got to prove something, uh, they didn't have the easy life often. You know, and you see a lot of entrepreneurs, they started out as refugees or whatever, but they're, they're just trying to fight to survive, and a lot of times in a startup company, that's what you're doing. But there's others who go through the traditional route, they, go to the best university like Stanford. And, and one of the reasons a lot of people who go the traditional route never start a company is because they have security, they get paid well, why would you bother? And I think had I not come to Adelaide, Australia where the job market wasn't very good, I may never have co-founded a, a startup company. But don't put it off. I've seen so many people who've had this great idea and, but they have the secure job and they stick with the secure job and they never live their passion. I forgot to smile. <laughs> uh.